Bose, the regional agronomist at 360 Yield Center here, to reporting today from the combine cab. We've moved on to soybeans here recently, uh, trying to get some beans out while the moistures are still good in that 12 to 14 percent range. But wanted to talk a little bit about what we what we took on early on in the season when we started corn uh, about 10 days ago. So typically we've got about two thirds to three quarters of our acres in corn rest of it obviously in soybeans and one of the things that we do here at home is uh, try to tackle the corn fields first early in September that are going to corn in the next year so one of the things I want to do is get that residue sized get it on the ground and get any tillage I'm going to do done so that it can be start the breakdown process because one of the great things about soybeans of course is that they are an awesome place to grow corn well, that's because of the carbon penalty that doesn't exist. So what I want to do is stack the deck in my favor with the carbon penalty on my early harvested corn acres. Because as the plant is, is dried down, as it has died down from a corn perspective, it stopped taking up nitrogen, obviously, but the soil still is releasing nitrogen in the form of mineralization. So despite the, the fact that the corn's not taking it up, these 80 degree temperatures and a little bit warmer that we've had recently is still giving us a lot of uh, a lot of free mineralized nitrogen and that nitrogen can be used yet this fall by the, the microbes to help break down that residue in the corn uh, in the corn stalk. So what I want to do is make sure that I I jump start that so that I have as little carbon penalty to pay for pay in the spring. So that those corn acres, I can get them done. The other thing about doing any tillage now is that I'm going to have generally better conditions early in the fall when the ground is relatively dry compared to what it will be later in the fall when we start getting some rains and we lose the heat that's going to dry out a lot of the soil. So with that, what I'd recommend personally is if you have a certain number of acres that are that are destined for corn in 2017, then I get after those and from a harvest standpoint, get them get the corn harvested, and then you can move on uh, to the rest of your acres that are going to be followed up in soybeans for next year. So, with that, I'll talk to you later and have a great and safe day. Thank you.